Okay guys, in this video, we are looking at how we can do transparent video over Video Ninja. So this is a technical demonstration. It's not yet fully cooked. So it, it demonstrates that, that we can, although there's still some limitations before we can use uh, VTubing software uh, effectively with it. This is also going to demonstrate how we can use this new mode called chunked video transfer to send high quality video over unstable connections at the cost of higher latency. This chunked transfer mode is required currently for the transparent video, although that may not be the case in the future. Okay, all these features are on version 20 of Video Ninja. That's currently in alpha um, and on beta, but this particular change is on alpha currently. When version 20 releases onto production, you will have those features there as well. We can access uh, alpha via video ninja slash alpha, and we can enable the mode we need to send transparent video by adding chunked to our URL parameter. So we have alpha and the URL parameter chunked. We can say add your camera. Here, here I am, hey guys. And so now I'm going to select a digital background, uh, sorry, a virtual background. And so this is using machine learning to remove my background. Uh, you know, technically there's an option for me to do virtual uh, avatars within uh, Video Ninja itself, but um, uh, it's telling a huge model. Here we go. So like technically we could do uh, avatars directly in this app. And another example of that would be dog ears, right? So it would be possible to write 3D models directly into Video Ninja. And in that case, transparencies would also work. Uh, but just for this case, I'm just going to select a transparent PNG background. And as you see, my background has now been removed. Um, I could do a mode that you don't need to select a PNG, but just for this demonstration, I just like to be transparent PNG. And we can start the video and here I am. You can just take the view link and watch it. Here I am. It takes a few seconds to start buffering. Um, But there we go. Now there is a delay, so I'll wave. Hey guys, one, two, three. And you'll see it takes three or four seconds to transfer that video over. So again, wave, wave, wave. And there we go. So it, it does um, work on that front and we can just demonstrate again that the video is transparent. We can go up here and we can change this color to, let's say, green. Um, close that. And now when we go here, it's it's not green, it's still blue. It's the background, right? So we're demonstrating that the transparencies are preserved while we transfer the video. We're also demonstrating the chunked transfer mode. And so the default chunk transfer mode transfers video at 3.5 megabits per second, VP9 with a two second chunk uh, size. And so on a good connection, you can get roughly two to four seconds of delay. On a worse connection, it might be quite a bit longer. Uh, this chunked mode is kind of my own creation. It's not using the WebRTC video streaming, uh, functionality. It's using a custom uh, video protocol over the data channels. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get that latency down to 500 milliseconds or so. But for now, it is what it is. And it does support transparency. The normal WebRTC video transport mode does not support transparency. So that's partly why this had to be done. Um, I might be able to add transparency over WebRTC video uh, via the Electron Capture app at some point, but for now, Chrome does not support it. And so um, 
it makes it very hard for me to to do it any other way. Um, one of the problems with VTubing software is again related to Chrome. When you select a virtual camera, um, the, these tools here they they don't support transparencies. Um, uh, instead of being transparent, they come as black, and that is because Chrome is. Uh, getting rid of that transparent layer when you select a, a transparent webcam. It's ignoring it. And so if you want transparencies, you have to... Um, uh, oh, now, now I'm broke. Uh, Chrome is very picky about all that. Um, but I think with some, with some effort, I can add transparency support to the Electron Capture app via doing a custom build of the Chromium framework it's using. That's going to be quite a bit of work, however, so I might not be able to add that in until uh, the year 2022. Just not enough time this December, but um, this is a demonstration that it is possible to transport transparent video. Um, there's one other technical limitation that will be solved soon, and that is OBS um, does not support my chunked video transport mode yet. Chrome is using a very old version of Chromium, and so until they update in the next version of OBS, uh, which might be coming out soon, this won't work with OBS anyways. It'll work with the Electron Capture app, but then you can't transfer that transparency over to OBS anyways. So uh, my hope is that you will be able to at least send a transparent cropped versions of yourself with the chunked video in upcoming versions of this software, version 20. And maybe version one, uh, 21 or 22, I'll be able to have proper transparencies over the native web RTC video streaming service okay i hope that makes sense so this is again just a technical demonstration that we can do transparent video over video ninja but it's going to be some more time before it's mature enough for actual use but i am i am working on it guys i'll get it thank you so much and cheers